Hello, anonymous strangers on the internet, and welcome to an exciting episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. This game was created by a one-man show named Concerned Ape. It was published by Chucklefish, the people who did, um, st or are still doing, Starbound. Um, Concerned Ape is based out of, I like sleep because I'm cold, Seattle, so he's a local guy to my area, but not so local that I actually knew him. Uh, which is probably a good thing, because he sounded a little douchey on a few interviews that I listened to while I was waiting for this game to come out. So, that said, the game looks like it actually turned out pretty well. If you've never played Harvest Moon before, this game appears to be quite similar to Harvest Moon. If you don't know what that is, it is a farming simulation game. Nice. Uh, where you try to build up your farm, you get to know the local folks, you make friends. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm about to cough too. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, so it's a game where you go around, you build up your farm, you harvest things, you get to know people, you develop love, blue, uh, where you wouldn't expect it, and it's it's a pretty cool game. It's definitely got a niche market. They've made a lot of spin-off series that are more RPG based, such as, um, blah, 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 blah. Harvest Moon, uh, Room Factory, that's what it's called. I am so sorry. My brain is like, because I'm not feeling 100% right now. But that's okay, because we're going to play us some high quality video games. So, this game is essentially a spin off of that, except for there's some features in it that aren't quite Harvest Moony. Like, for example, Harvest Moon gives you a very, very tiny area to actually have your farm. This gives you a much larger space, so you're like, yeah, I could be a commercial farmer. And follow my very special granddaughter. Good news, grandpa talks super slow, so I have enough time to talk and read this at the same time. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Um, yeah, cause like usually Harvest Moon games, you get a tiny little plot, but you somehow make lots of money to live off of. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Wow, this is made for people with really slow reading rates. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Fortunately, thanks to my cold, I'm able to mimic the grandpa voice quite well. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. <coughs> Now, let Grandpa rest. Okay, Mom, but he's dying, and I want to say goodbye. XX years later. Jojo, join us, thrive, work, never rest. Hey, look, it's managers staring at us, and we're stuck in a cubicle farm. Yay. Smile, you're with Jojo. Jojo, terminated. Jojo. I like that guy's cowboy hat. Oh, I'm blue. ba ba dee da ba da I, how do I get his cowboy hat? And why isn't she typing? Why isn't he typing? Why are you just reading? You guys are slackers. You're going to get fired. Where's my keyboard in the setup? I have a mouse and no keyboard. I don't see a rollout keyboard. Dear Vatusia, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. And close the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Melody Farm, it's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still around, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay, Grandpa, I'm done. So, one thing I think that's interesting about this game. And not necessarily in a good way, is it's done a very stereotypical thing that was common in older Harvest Moon games, which is um, you move to a place and then you have to keep it from being taken over by a corporation by doing really good farming. 
they moved away from that model. <coughs> I think it was around um, GameCube era of Harvest Moon games, and then obviously the DS, they started focusing more on the RPG version of the games, um, and such as the Rune Factory, and then also like Grand Bazaar and other little things like that, where you get to experience multiple villages and so on. Hello, you must be Vatusia. Hi, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. So, like, it's a very stereotypical old story, which makes sense, because this guy's inspiration was Back to Nature from Harvest Moon, apparently. And this is Melody Farm, which is a very good game, don't get me wrong. But... The Joja Corporation thing is a little bit, oh, super evil mega corporations taking over small areas where, like, eh, eh, what's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. The little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, that is, that looks a lot like my current house, actually. Uh, I recently moved to a house that looks a lot like this. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Ah, you're that guy my dad, grand, dying grandpa was talking about. That's pretty cool. Welcome, I'm Lewis, the mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Well, who told them I was coming? Because that's a little creepy. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Okay, still creepy. Who told you I was coming? So, you're moving into your grandfather's old college. Please tell me this isn't the bed that he died in. It's a good house, very rustic. <coughs> rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Yeah, geez, my grandpa owned this place. Come on, man. Now listen to her, Vatusia. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. No, I want a chicken coop. I'm pretty sure this should be a chicken coop. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Okay. Done. Will do. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Also creepy. The mayor is also a shipper, apparently. Well, good luck. Like, is he going to go sell it to other people? Like, what are you... What, why are you touching my goods, Louis? Do I get money instantaneously? This is a confusing process. dum da dum 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 Oh, good, this bed is not blue, so it's very possible that this is not the bed my grandfather died in. Good. Good news. Okay, so in this game, you receive 15 persons, maybe here's a little something to get you started. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Uh, you have your journal here. Introductions, you need to go greet 28 people. And, oh, I'm going to cough again. I'm so sorry. <coughs> um, if you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe skills, till the soil. Use the seed packet in the tilled soil. Just sow the crop water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Done. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do some farming. Um, yeah, so the whole major evil corporation thing, it's not really doing it for me. But that said, it's still a very cute game. <coughs> and my throat is rebelling for me trying to talk. Oh no. So, um, if you've played Harvest Moon, the controls are going to be super duper familiar, or even Rune Factory, if I'm honest. You have a little bit more control than you did in Harvest Moon, and that you can select your tools this way rather than having to rotate through them, which is a lot more efficient, quite honestly. Um, you also have. Whee! Um, the ability to aim a little bit more. Like, if I stand in one spot in Harvest Moon, it would be a pain in the butt to go for each thing. I'd have to move around a lot. But in this game, 
I can tell all the things around me. Maybe. Okay, apparently I lied. You can't tell where you're standing. That's weird. That was not an issue before. Um, with minimal effort, if any, like, look, I'm hoeing three spots. Hoeing around, really. Uh, and then let's plant some seeds. So the controls are a lot more friendly than Harvest Moon is, but Harvest Moon is typically a controller game. This is definitely a mouse and keyboard. That you also have the option to use a controller if you would like. I have no idea where my controller is because, as I've mentioned, I recently moved into a fancy new house that was a foreclosure. So most of my stuff still in boxes and we're currently living out of one itty bitty room as though it is a studio apartment, which is funny because my house is pretty large. It's in the country though, so like pretty large houses aren't really as expensive to come by here as opposed to actual Seattle. Um, oops, I did not till soil then. Uh, so... And no, it, it happens. Let's cut this down with an axe. So one of the things I'd recommend when you're starting out is to collect a bunch of wood, because you're going to want to craft a chest. I think it's called a chest. Who knows what it's called? Let's find out what it's called. Go over here, hit escape to open up this menu, and then you go over to your crafting menu, and chest, 50 wood. I have 19. That'll let you store more materials and then it's less cumbersome to have your tools and stuff around. So I'm not bothering with these guys because you're not going to be able to knock them down with your axe right now, unfortunately. Wee, but I can chop weeds with my axe. Yeah, the dream. <coughs> so what was funny, the first time I played this game, uh, since I do live... Like, literally, I live on a farm. It's, like, a lot of land. And then I uh, have my little barn in the back, which I'm going to put chickens in eventually, unless life hates me. Um, I need to finish building my coop, though, but instead I'm playing video games because I'm cold. And one of the things that I thought was really funny is I have a little pond in my backyard, right, which is great, because I'm also to have ducks, because clearly I just need all of the birds at my house. Um, and so when I was playing the game, I kept hearing frogs croaking in the background. I'm like, wow, this really simulates the experience. Like, this is definitely my life right here. And then, like, I realized it was actually no sound, because, you know, there's occasionally background music, as you've noticed. But what I was getting was zero sound. It was just literally my yard making that noise, not, not the game designer being a genius who is aware of my surroundings. Which... You know, frogs croaking continuously isn't completely out of expectation. Because you got this little pond here, but way over here that I can't get to, uh, um, there is a giant pond. Yeah, look at that. That is frog heaven right there. So, we're going to just, just chop through this. Oh, man, really? You'll notice that your toolbar will switch sides, and I always forget which I have my heart keys set to, so I have to like reopen it because I'm special. Um, but if you're less special than me, this won't be an issue for you. There we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So you have to go introduce yourself to people. You don't have to introduce yourself to the wizard to begin with, so let's go see if we can go find the lady in here. Oh, no nobody's home. I can walk into your store, but there's no one manning the shop front. Cool. Well, that was a mistake. Let's leave here then. Oh, there she is. Hey, slacker. Get back to work. Ah, uh, Mary Lewis told me that you just arrived. I'm Marty. Hi, Marty. Why weren't you at work? So, livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Totally would, but I don't own a coop. Uh, oh, and someone had been asking about my hiatus. And I wasn't playing for quite a while, actually, and I hadn't been recording any videos, and as I partly explained, that was due to my house being a foreclosure where I did not have internet until, I think I got it last week, actually. But even then, it ended up being a little bit longer than that because on top of not having internet, I've also been having to help my mom. Or er, hi, I'm Clint. That's all Clint says, by the way. I'm the Chance Blacksmith. If you ever need an upgrade to your tools, I'm your guy. Okay. 
Uh, the game pauses whenever you're talking to someone too, which is pretty nice. Boom. Because originally in one of the betas, it did not look like that was the case. I say betas, but there wasn't actually an open beta testing. It was um, pre-released to some streamers who tested it and recorded it and showed it. I was not one of those streamers. I don't stream. Because my computer would pee itself. Oh, I should have left some of this junk over there. My bad. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to uh, figure out how to use mic mute so that you don't hear me making horrible noises in your ear. But I think for today we're just going to have to live with it. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Hi, Pam. You look like trailer trash. Are you trailer trash? Yes. Yes, I am. Kid. Sam's on the clock. Better not get him in trouble. Okay. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Actually, Shane never seems interested in talking. I talked to this guy. I'm not going to bother. It doesn't count as one of your people that you meet. I just want to show you one quick thing, and that is... Eh, there we go. If you go over here... <coughs> parsnip seeds are 25. Bean starter, 75. Cauliflower, 100. Potatoes, 62. Toilet bulbs, 25. Kale, 87. I'm not going to remember any of that, but that doesn't matter because I already know the answers to my questions. So that's one of the places that you can buy seeds in this game. Uh, the other place... Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. I decided to give the goth girl the really high-pitched voice for this because it felt right. Whoop. Oh, aren't you the one that just moved in? Yes, I am. I like your glasses. They're very pretty. Hi, Mara. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Aww. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. <laughs> Creepy. Some old people live in here. And that shirtless young man over there lives here, too, who's got pictures of bodybuilders on as well. He may be into the dudes and football. Humph, <laughs> uh, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> Okay, you're just a sparkle of sunshine, George. Sparkle of sunshine. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, so aside from my house, the other reason that I haven't been around, and we're going to pause again. Why, hello, welcome to our little community here. Please let me call you Granny. Oh, you can call me Granny if you like. I do like hi, Granny. So my mother has not been very healthy. So, hello, you must be Vitusia, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. I have been helping her out. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay. I'm Jody. You're sort of a bitch, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer could really change things. Cool. Cool. That's a nice general store. Have you met Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Oh, you're older than I expected to have a child my age. Eh. Oh, God. Son, there's a creepy man staring at you. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. That's... I'm blue? Did you not notice I'm blue? I'm clearly an alien. Your mother, your mother's right, son. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Or the local pedophile, Mr. Mustache. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents in Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Yeah, because you get to creeper on the small children. Please save the mustachio. Please. You have blue hair. I do not think I've talked to you yet. Ugh. But warning is so hard. Oh, so I've been helping my mom. You have never had the opportunity to help somebody walk because they're incapable of it. Like, you should totally try it out. It's crazy rewarding and makes you really appreciative for many, many things. And they'll usually appreciate the help. Unless they're my mom in a bad mood, then they appreciate it less. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. You're the shirtless guy who was lifting earlier with the posters of having naked men on as well. See you around. Ooh. If you pick one of those, keep it. You also need a couple other things that I'm probably not going to be able to pick because my inventory is super full. <coughs> oh, look, more people. How am I doing, by the way, on that? 17 out of 20. That's not too bad. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. You're my kind of man, Gus. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelcatao. Thank you, Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, 
stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I can tell you're there already behind the counter. So sort of inferred that, Emily. Pam, where are you going? Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Thanks, Pam. I don't aspire to be a jerk, but it happens sometimes. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hi, Sam. Your hair is very bleached. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hi, Leah. Uh, oh, here's the thing I was going to show you. And I can't because the store is closed. Screw you. Pierre, get back to work. <coughs> I'm the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you at a good price. Well, since I can't tell you what's up with that, let me just tell you, it's like about 20% cheaper to go here instead of the um, Jojo Mart, which, you know, money's money, so definitely save it. But the problem that I have with that is like usually the way those huge companies get into towns and like are actually effective is by being cheaper. So like, I don't, I didn't want to help anyone. I wanted, I wanted to look at the calendar. Ugh. Life is hard. Um, so I have a little bit of a problem with the fact that like it's not any cheaper. So, but uh, they will turn this into a warehouse if you join the Jojo Mart. And I'm not sure if they give you like 90% off or something when you do that because it's like 5,000 G's. And, ooh. Ooh, are you single? Hi. Hello, big tall man. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Single dad? Are you a single dad? I'm studying the local plants, the animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Mara? She's interested to meet you. You're old enough to be a father of someone my age. Huh. You know what? I'm still cool with that. Demetrius, you single? Oh, no, this is going to be Mara's mother, isn't it? You met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. You're right, Robin. I feel exhausted, and I'm a little upset that I'm pretty sure that guy's your husband. Oh, Demetrius. We could have been so happy together. Me and my beautiful blue skin, you and your beautiful not blue skin. Would have been great, man. Would have been great. But nope, no single. Leah's apparently single, though, so, you know, if that's what you're into. Who else do we got here? Abigail, the emo girl. Sam, bleach blonde guy. Alex, the jock who I'm assuming is into the dudes. So sorry, there, buddy. <coughs> Maro, his daughter is single. Lovely, lovely. Harvey, the local doctor pedophile. And Penny, the person whose personality has taught her not to say hello, nice to meet you, but to say hi. Ooh, who are you? Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Thanks, Sebastian. I feel cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah. I'm going to find out you're single and you're like the emo selection for... Yeah. That's... That's unfortunate, Sebastian, because I want... I want that guy to be single. Not you. Not you with your stereotypical broodiness. I want someone who's not a little whiny girl to be single. But fine, fine, we'll deal with it. Ooh, are you single? Hi, Linus. Stranger, hello. Hello to you, too. Aw. This game doesn't understand my interest. I'm clearly interested in tent living people. Uh, handsome tall men who are single fathers. Totally fine with that. Not a big deal. Um, and not, not the guy with the luscious locks. So, hmm. so far it seems like the dating candidates seem pretty stereotypical. Oh, did I just water that? I did not want to water that. Oh, oh, I'm pickaxing things. I don't even want to pickaxe. Oh, God. Mistakes have been made, and I'm apparently tired, and my inventory is full. Ah, Okay. That's fine. You know why? We're going to go over here. We're going to empty out our inventory a little bit. I'm going to save that for later. You need this for later. Just heads up. Save that. Uh, we're going to do this and this and this. Oh, wait. Mix seeds. <laughs> I will partake. Uh, I meant to go get more seeds for this game day. 
I got distracted, so that did not happen. But that's okay. That's future problem for future me. Today me doesn't care. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so apologies again if you watched the previous episode. Hopefully my encoding problems are solved and everything is happy hunky dory. Again, I'm doing this on my Mac in. Uh... <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, go to sleep for the night. I'm doing this on my Mac in bootcamp using Windows 10, and that's not a great thing because this is currently the only way to run this game on a Mac, unfortunately, even though it was originally announced as a Mac and PC release. The Mac side hasn't happened yet, and a lot of the community has tried to do it using Wine and other options that just aren't working for anyone, so that sucks, but it's what it is. Uh, that said, bootcamp does work. Just not necessarily well. <laughs> um, it's been going fine for me for the most part. It's just like I'm not used to having to use this as my primary computer. So once my house is a little bit more situated, I will go ahead and play using my PC. Oh, look, it's a little map. It's not very useful. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Click like if you liked. Click dislike if you disliked. And I'm sorry again for the double recording of this episode. Yay!